How to explore the Kubernetes API using Python. If you intend to run your Python app under the Kubernetes infrastructure, you might want to access the Kubernetes API using Python's Kubernetes API client. Let's see how we can access the equivalent data we retrieve when we type kubectl get pods command to list the pods running in Python. Let's go through it step by step. In our Google Cloud environment, we have two pods running. In our test, we're going to list these pods using the Python client API. First, we install the Python client either manually from GitHub or using pip. Now let's open Python's REPL, which is Python's interactive shell. Here we're using Mac, but it would be similar on Linux. First, we import the Kubernetes client API that was just installed. Next, we authenticate to the Kubernetes API server. Here, we're loading the auth and cluster information and storing it in our client. Once authenticated, we store the API object into a variable named v1. From API object v1, we can list all the running pods by using list namespaced pod method, which accepts two parameters. One is the namespace, and the other is used for continuing to monitor the object, or for a one-off retrieval. Now, what we've stored in this variable ret is the equivalent of what our cube control get pods retrieved earlier. So we have a couple of options here. The one we're looking for is items, which is where, you've guessed it, our pods list is stored. So let's create another variable called pods that points to ret items. Lastly, if we want to list our pods from our pods list object, we can iterate through it using Python's list comprehension to store all pods name into pods name variable. Here, we're also storing pod status into pod status variable, so we can list something else apart from pods name. And finally, we can bundle it up together and display it in a more friendly output, similar to the cube control command. Get step-by-step -step details on using the Kubernetes API with Wireshark and Python.